Hey, Tim Destacio here. It is Psychrometric Saturday again. Last time we talked about grains of moisture, the latent heat formula, which allows us to calculate how much latent heat or moisture removal that our air conditioning system is doing. And we can tell a lot about how a system performs based on the latent heat removal, the sensible heat removal. We put them together. That's total heat. We compare that against the nominal tonnage of the unit, and we can kind of determine whether that unit is performing correctly. This time we're going to talk about dehumidifiers. We install a lot of dehumidifiers but periodically we need to be able to check the performance of that dehumidifier and make sure it's still doing okay. So how do we do that? Well, we're going to use psychrometrics to do that. So here I've got my dehumidifier. I've got my smart probe reading temperature and humidity, a hygrometer. We talked about that last time. I have another one in the supply. So I get those readings running the dehumidifier for at least 10 minutes and I'm able to plot those conditions on my psychrometric chart. Let's say that coming into the dehumidifier, I've got 75 degree dry bulb. And when I plot out what my dew point is or what my humidity is, I'm able to convert that to 77 grains of moisture. So that's our entering air coming into the dehumidifier. Leaving the dehumidifier, that air temperature is really, really warm. If you've ever worked on dehumidifiers, you know that they put out hot air. So my dry bulb temperature is going to be way up here at the edge of my chart at 100 degrees, but notice that the grains of moisture is much lower. Again, grains of moisture and dew point is our absolute humidity. This is sort of like having a container of water. The higher we are with our level of the container of water, the more moisture is in it. Same thing here. The higher we are in the chart, the more moisture is in the air. The lower we are in the chart, the less amount of moisture is in the air. So our dehumidifier is doing its job. It removed humidity. It removed moisture. Entering, we're up here. Leaving, we're down here. We're at a lower level in the chart. But let's actually calculate to see whether that dehumidifier is doing as much as it's supposed to. So we've got to figure out what our difference in grains of moisture is because we're going to use the latent heat formula. Again, the latent heat formula says we take our difference in grains of moisture times 0.68 times our CFM. Well, let's say that we've got 77 grains of moisture coming in, 53 leaving. When we look at our difference, that brings us to a 24 grains difference. We multiply that by 0.68. Let's say that this dehumidifier is moving 130 CFM. We're going to need to measure that somehow. It's probably uh, too small to use our true flow grid. Maybe we use static pressure. We check it against the manufacturer's information. Either way, let's say that we read 130 CFM. We have everything that we need now in order to check and calculate the performance of this dehumidifier. Well, we multiply these three numbers together, we get 2,121 BTUs of latent heat. Well, that does not do us a lot of good unless we're able to convert that to something that the dehumidifier is rated in. And most dehumidifiers that you're going to work on are rated in pints per day. So how do we convert latent heat, latent BTUs, to pints per day? It's actually a very easy formula. BTUs to pints per day. We simply take our BTUH, which in this case was 2121. We divide it by a thousand. For you purists out there, it's probably around a thousand fifty four, but a thousand is close enough for what we're doing. And then we're going to multiply that by 24 because there's 24 hours in a day. So 2121 divided by a thousand times 24, we come up with 50 pints per day. Well, let's say that this is a 70 pint per day dehumidifier. Does that mean that dehumidifier is not performing correctly? No, it does not. Because when these dehumidifiers are rated, let's say that's rated at 70 pints per day, they're actually rated at a completely different set of conditions that uh, we have here. And so there's more moisture for it to remove. Therefore, it can be rated at a higher number. But when we stick this dehumidifier in the real world, a 70 pint may only perform at 50 pints, and that's okay. That was a lot to go over today. Thanks for your patience. We'll see you next time on Psychrometric Saturday.